Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to the Hobby Lodge again. So it's the day after Salute 2021. Um, and something I didn't talk about on the previous video where I talked about the show and all the pickups I did. Um, I'll try and stick a link, otherwise I might stick it at the end of the video. Um, is the speed paints. So there was a table you could go and sit at. That's every year when Salute was running every year. Uh, was run by two gentlemen who did a bit of a speed painting competition and normally it would just be army painter paints some company gives them a bunch of minis and they literally run a little competition it's great for kids to get involved um and adults and you know everyone involved but you know it's not it's nothing serious it's just a little quick speed painting sort of table for for people to have a bit of fun on and it is generally good fun and if you're walking past it at a salute do it because you walk away with a free miniature um you know so if you've got your kids with you or anything like that they'll they'll love it um, but obviously this year was a little bit different because they had speed paints on the table. Now they didn't have the entire range, and they certainly didn't have. Um, well, no, yeah, they, you, know, you were mixing it with other colours because that's what you had. Um, but it was nice to actually have a go with some of the speed paints. Now I don't have any of the speed paints here. I didn't get to buy any. They're not available till January. Um, but as someone who is a sort of you know big promoter of the contrast range from GW. I thought I would give my thoughts on what I saw when I used the paints. So I'll kind of break it into you know pros and cons as far as me personally using them. Um, and then we can we can go from there. So I did paint a miniature. Now, th this is not in any way a fair judgment because this was a speed painting thing. You had literally 15 minutes or 15, 20 minutes to paint a miniature. Uh, so, you know, um, I did this little goblin in the very short time that I had and, and I, honestly, even the brush I was painting was bent because obviously everything's donated. So my brush had like, it was a straight handle and then a bent, uh, almost at 90, almost at a sort of, you know, certainly more than a 45 degree bend in the brush. So, uh, I'm going to see if this camera, for some reason my camera's having problems focusing this morning, but, um, yeah, you can see the general gist of it. It was uh, very quick to sort of get down and, and paint. So, um, I'll go over the pros, right? So uh, this is all one coat. Nothing I did here is more than a single coat. I'm going to try and bring it in closer to see if this thing... Let me manually focus this a second because it is it's not wanting to focus today at all. It's it's feeling as tired as I am, I guess. So uh, let me see if I can bring this in. Are you going to focus for me? Here we go. There we go. Let's go with that. Let's go with that. That looks good. So yeah, all of this was one one coat of a green, a sort of yellow um, um, brown for the legs, a wood color for the club, um, and then this kind of orange on the shield, and also the black on the shield as well. So that's pretty much the colors I had to use. I tried out a brown, a green, a yellow, and an orange and a black. So five colors I tried. Uh, and it was all one coat, right? So didn't miss anything. Every color covered as you would expect. Uh, you know, that's one of the things I've heard from people saying is the consistency across the range is really good. And I would agree. I didn't find that any of them covered better or worse than anyone else. So the yellow was as good as the black, as you know, and that would probably be where you might see some discrepancy. Uh, and the, the brown, I mean, the browns for me always cover really well, but, you know, yellows and the oranges, you can see there. I mean, it wasn't a very bright orange that I had, um, but it, it it covered absolutely fine um and yeah was i able to produce a tabletop um you know D, &D level sort of miniature within 15 minutes 100 percent um the bottles were decent sized they came with um mixing beads inside so i think there was two in each um definitely sounded like they were clanging off each other uh so you know if i was to take an army painter bottle I don't have one to hand now, but if I was to take one and shake it for, let's say, 10 seconds and then try and pour out some paint uh, or squeeze out some paint, what I would get is a load of mixing medium and then a big, thick blob of paint. Because realistically, army paints are paints. You've got to shake those things, um, you know, yeah, a lot. <laughs> or get yourself a vortex mixer, which is what I do have. Um, but with these speed paints, um, no problem at all couple of shakes and they came when i when i um poured it out onto the palette um it looked great looked well mixed um no no complaints there whatsoever and i do believe you know obviously from a price point of view i believe they're going to be significantly cheaper probably i don't know if it's like almost a pound more a bottle 
um, cheaper than uh, the GW ones. Uh, I guess we'll have to wait and see a little bit until those paints come out. So yeah, you know, uh, was I able to do this in 15 minutes and be happy with the results? Yeah, you know what? Fine. This isn't going to win in the awards, but it would work as a tabletop, you know, um, a miniature. So, you know, under that guise of army, you know, it's army painting. It's meant to be get your army to the table as fast as humanly possible. Um, yeah, that's that's a win. Coverage, no problems at all. Colours, looks like great colours. You know, the green was a nice vibrant green. Um, the, the yellow... Um, when it first went on the palette, it looked like a good, decent yellow. The black was that sort of classic black. Now, I did do some highlighting. I used a bit of silver, a bit of yellow, a bit of green from the other ranges. So this isn't just pure speed paint on here. I have kind of touched the edges, like you can see on the nose and the eye and around the eyes. I touched it with a bit of yellow mixed into the green. Um, but yeah, you know, all, all good from that point of view. Um, would I would I use them? Yeah, absolutely. So now I'll I'll, um, I'll jump onto the negative side of things. And probably um, the, uh, the little things, right? So no one likes Games Workshop pots, except for Games Workshop pots make complete sense for contrast paints. Because often with contrast paints, you're painting straight out of, the, out of the pot, right? So you sort of give the pot a shake, you flip your lid, and there's a nice little pool of paint in that lid um, that you can paint directly from. <clears throat> you know, you don't normally put it onto a palette. I do personally put it onto a wet palette because I don't just slap on contrast paints. I almost use them a bit like a a base paint, you know, to give me that sort of recesses and first colour and then I'll build upon it. Um but uh it is quite handy sometimes just to go straight from the lid. Just go boom straight from the lid. Um where with these I had to squeeze it out onto a palette. It's quite a runny paint. So when you squeeze it out onto the palette, if there's any dips or grooves or your your palette's on a slight tilt, it runs. Right? And so you end up with like quite a lot of space on your palette being used by these speed paints, um, because because they just you know it's like putting a wash on your speed but on your on your palette it's going to move around right it's going to because you want sticking your brush into it so I actually had two where they ran into each other you know it wasn't I mean I was again I was being quick I wasn't being careful and I had two of them sort of clash um, which is not the end of the world um, but it, it does happen um, so uh, you know it would make sense to have them in pots because. You know, you, you've got a bit more control over the paint from that point of view and i think you'd end up wasting more so again with the with the pots for contrast paints i think you use exactly what you need my contrast paints i've got the full set quite a long time ago now when they first came out i bought the entire range and i have yet to run out of paint Maybe on some of the, um, <clears throat> maybe black, I think I've used a couple of pots of, because black is one of those colours you use a lot. Um, and bone, I think, is the only one I've replaced. Otherwise, everything else is the original pots, because you use exactly what you need. Now, with, con with speed paint, you are squirting that out of a bottle onto a palette. Very hard to know how much you're going to need. So, one, you're either going backwards or forwards a lot, squirting it out. Or two, you squirt it out and then don't need it. Well, you can't put it back in the pot unless you can find a way to do that um and also it dries right so of course when it's on the palette uh, unless you're using a wet palette it will eventually dry out so i do think there is a room for so whilst it might cost you less to buy speed paint i would willing to make a good bet you'll waste more so is there a balance there right uh the other thing i'd say about them as a painter is they take too long to dry so this was my biggest issue with this guy. Even when I was doing this guy, those yellow, those pants were yellow, and obviously I was doing the skin in green. Uh, because I was speed painting, that's that's the name on the bottle. So I'm not making any other, you know, I'm not pushing anything there. That's what they're called, speed paints. Um, they take quite a long time to dry, and therefore, if you touch any colours around it, they are going to mix. They are going to flow into each other. And I was being, you know, fairly careful. I'm not going to say I'm a noob at painting with sort of this this type of paint. I think I've I think I've got a pretty good uh, um, way with them now. Um, but if the name of the paint is speed paint, yes, it might be super fast at getting colour onto a miniature. But if you can't then work with that miniature for 15 minutes because the paint's still wet, um, where, where's the speed? You know, it needs to be not only speed in application, but speed in my entire process because the name of the game is speed painting. It's getting through stuff quick. Um, if I was to use a traditional painting method and do, you know, base, layer, or base, wash, layer, um, 
I think I would be just as fast um, <clears throat> as doing it with 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 speed paint, a hundred percent. I don't think I would be that much faster. Um, and you know, contrast isn't called speed paint; it's called contrast because it is a contrast between the darkest areas and the lightest areas. That's what that paint does. It adds shadow into your recess. It leaves a medium tone over the rest, and then draws away from edges to leave a highlight. That's what the name of the game is. It's a contrast paint. Um, you've called this speed paint. So my expectation is, great, I get super fast coverage and I can keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. I can move through my army super fast. Go, 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 go. And it's not true. I can't do that because paint is wet for so long that I was literally at some point, and I'm not joking, at, this was a 20-minute paint job um, that I had this for. At some points, I was doing this trying to dry it so that i could add another car in the end i just gave up and just started blending them into each other um, because i couldn't really care less i wasn't trying to win a competition um i was just trying to test the paints out so um <clears throat> yeah if I, if I said it needs to do anything i think it needs to be um I don't know if there's an agent they can add or they can reduce down maybe the wetness of the paint maybe make it slightly thicker i don't know um but it to be branded as speed paint um and that 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 for me means yeah i get great coverage on my miniature but i can just go 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 now of course they probably say the answer is batch painting so do your green skins green 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 and by the time you've done the last one the first one will be dry then do all your all your fur pants brown 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 right come back do all the horns do all the whatever um and that way yes you might find that you can uh you've got dry paint by the time you come back to the uh to the to the lot the first one you did but you know reality is not, some people paint like that a lot of people maybe paint in squads of five or singular miniatures and uh if you've got to wait 20 minutes for a layer to dry or for a speed paint to dry you're not fast <laughs> you're, you're the opposite of fast um in my world yeah you know um I like to do a miniature in an hour if I can um, to what I think is a good tabletop standard. And and I think contrast, again, I'm not trying to sound like a contrast fanboy, and I'm sure I am, but I find that they are, they just find that middle ground, which is, yes, they're wet enough to work with and maybe do a bit of wet blending if you want to do or um, or move the paint around once you've initially put it in place and you think, oh, it's a bit too heavy there, I want to move it. But then, you know, within a few minutes, that is dry enough to then put a layer of paint to or to go in with another contrast and not worry about that bleed so um you know uh yeah so that's that's pretty much my thoughts you know a great paint um it worked brilliantly as it said you know, does it do what it says on the tin yes it allows you to paint a miniature um quickly um if you're not going to then go back and do other things you know so if you're slapping on just this stuff and you're going to go with i'm going to do the green i'm going to do the brown i'm going to do the yellow i'm going to do the shield i'm not doing any layers i'm not doing any other type of paint that's just it bang and i'm going for tabletop method then probably speed paints will do it right because you can do this all day long um if you're then gonna want to then go in and add additional colors and do a bit of dry brush and certainly if you're going to do dry brushing you've got no hope because you are waiting 20 plus minutes for that to be fully dry or you could even try and dry brush it um but yeah so you know what um i'm definitely going to give them a try i'm going to pick up the range when it comes out because I, I will it's a it's a range of paint it's a style of paint that i've really grown to uh so but um yeah is it going to replace contrast for me at the moment no uh because of my limited experience of them is it would extend my painting time quite significantly uh and that's not the name product so it doesn't make sense to me. Uh, but yeah, look, um, for other people, uh, I'm sure they will be amazing. And maybe I will, I will, you know, I mean, they're not fully released yet. So maybe there's little twigs to happen. I don't imagine so because they're probably into full production now, I imagine. Um, but hey, you can produce a miniature really quickly um, using Army Painter Speed Paints. And the colors look great and the coverage looks great. So what, what more can I say? Right, um, hopefully that gave you a little view of my opinion of my limited <coughs> testing of that product. Um, I'm really looking forward to getting hold of them. Uh, so all of that said, I am gonna pick them up as I said. So um, yeah, and then I can do some proper reviews, some proper color compare and um, comparisons, you know, do a miniature side by side and, and see, what I, see what I think. 
uh so yeah um thanks for watching if you got this far and you like what I, you like the video give us a like give us a subscribe there's a whole bunch of stuff there's a salute video from yesterday and maybe i'll if i can i'll make it pop up at the end um but uh yeah i i, I had some people ask me so i thought i would i would do a quick video all right have a great weekend this is the weekend i'm doing this i hope you've had a great one and i hope we're all well and safe and i'll see you on the next video or live stream all right cheers all bye bye bye